Mag-start tayo class sa uh, isang bagay na alam na natin. Uh, number one, alam natin ang cash ay ano? Current asset. And number two, pangilang item to sa current assets natin? Pinakaula. What's the reason? It is the most uh, liquid. So whether you're presenting no, a current and non-current presentation or in the order of liquidity, the first asset will always be cash. Okay. Gamitin ko pa rin yung medyo may pagka-primitibo, no? primitive na cash classifications natin. Okay? Number one is cash on hand. No? So sa cash on hand natin, naan dito yung mga undeposited collections natin. So currency and coins. Okay? Number two, yung mga negotiable instruments na also undeposited. So, pareho itong dalawa ito. Ah. Undeposited currency and coins at saka undeposited checks and money orders. Okay? Kaya lang, ito may qualification. Okay? Pag may nasama class na record mo, no? nag-debit ka ng cash and then credit accounts receivable, Okay? And ito na class yung ano mo ah, deposit in transits mo, no? Okay? Mamaya, I'll get back to that, no? Kasi hindi kailangan physically na deposit para maging deposit in transit, no? Once you make a collection, meron tayong tinatawag na impress system na lahat ng collections mo, diretsyo for deposit. Tama ba yun, guys? No? So, yun yung first part, no? Ng impress system. Okay? So ngayon, itong collection na to ng check, no? pag number 1, PDC yan, o kaya naman, number 2, stale na, or defective, no? lalo na ngayon, very strict, no? kasi dapat one day, no? yung BSP class, once a one day clearing. Okay, pag early, ha? syempre pag late clearing, the following day na yan. Okay, kaya kailangan class, walang imperfection na yung mga checks natin ngayon, pati tupi nga, sinisita na. Okay? So, i-reverse mo yung entry mo. So, debit accounts receivable, credit, cash. Okay? So, please take note, if a collection of a check has been recorded, but it is post-dated, it is stale, it is more than 6 months, or it is defective, you reverse the entry for the collection. Okay? And finally, class, no? Pag sinabi natin fund, merong ano, restriction. Pagka fund dito na on hand, yung mga maliliit lang, no? PCF at saka change fund, no? Mga panukli. Yung mga malalaking funds, no, for payroll, for dividends, for taxes, dito papasok 'yan. So number two, you have cash in bank. Ayun. Ah, cash in bank natin, guys. Pagka unrestricted, walang problema. Okay. So, nandiyan ka sa current account at saka savings account. So, take note, hindi ko sinasama klasa yung time deposit. Hindi ko sinasama yung certificate of deposit. Mamaya yun, cash equivalent to mga items na to. Okay. But once again, parang ito, yung mga collections mo in the form of checks, eto class this one in particular okay baliktad naman kung tayo naman yung nag-issue ng PDC nag-debit ka ng accounts payable tas credit cash okay so again ah, in the form of a post dated check or the check is not delivered okay ano naging treatment class Addition or deduction? Deduction. So, we have to reverse this. It will now become an addition. Understated yung unrestricted current account mo. Do you follow everyone? Yes or no? Ah, okay. 
So be careful dito sa dalawa, yung checks no, that have not yet been deposited. And number two, okay, yung unrestricted current account mo. Kasi baka may nabawas, dapat ibalik. Nasusundan, my friends. Okay. Ah. Lastly, ito yung mga mas malalaki, ha? Mas malalaki na fund natin. So, may restriction. Unrestricted, pag-restricted, fund na naman yon. Okay? So, part pa rin ng cash natin kapag ka for current use. Okay? And for a current liability. Ayan. Kaya, for example, parang problem number 3 yata yan. No? May bonds payable dyan na due ng 2020 at may bond sinking fund na nakaset aside for this bond payable that will be maturing kasama na sa cash yung bond sinking fund. Okay? Ang problema mo, class, no? yung mga plant expansion fund. Okay. Kasi non-current asset yung PPE. Kaya never magiging current asset itong mga fund na to. You follow, guys? Yes or no? Uh, isa pa, no? Contingency fund. Ayan, hindi naman yan for current use. No? Mga current use natin, eh, no? Petty cash fund. Okay? Uh, tax fund, dividend fund. Okay? Yung mga yon part ng cash and therefore part ng current assets. Okay? Now, pakipuntahan naman class yung next part kasi iba to, ha? Ang cash natin, nakikita nyo, no? Ano yung mga examples natin ng cash? Ayan, legal tender, negotiable instruments, bank deposits. Okay? Pagka cash equivalent, Okay, sulat nyo, class. Pero alam nyo na naman to. Short term, highly liquid investments. Okay ba, class? Familiar? Sounds familiar, everyone? Okay. And then, ano yung pinaka-importante dito? Okay. Acquired, ano? Three months or less from maturity date. Ayan. Kaya, dapat may maturity date debt instruments ito. Okay? But because of the other description, highly liquid, we can safely assume that these debt instruments can only be issued by the following. No? Mga banks. So hence, nandiyan yung time deposit at saka certificate of deposit. Ano yung term class ng time deposit or certificate of deposit? Ano dapat? Three months or less. Okay. Eh, sir, paano po pag more than 3 months na? Okay. So, short-term investment lang yung pinaka-alternative natin. Eh, paano pagka more than 1 year na? Uh, Long-term investment. Okay. Sir, pwedeng i-pre-terminate. Uh, nevertheless, okay, you always have to be liquid if you are a business. Okay. Hindi pwedeng... You're going to think twice if you pre-terminate mo yung time deposit or not. Okay? So, either na siya, 3 months or less, ano yung pinaka-optimal na classification ng time deposit or certificate of deposit? Ano? Cash equivalent. Okay? So, from the time of acquisition pa, yung original term ng dalawang to. Okay? Next class, no? Yung government na bonds. Ayan. So, dito class, nagkakaroon ng uh, kailangan ng bigger na understanding. Kasi, yung Bureau of Treasury, pagka 3 months, no? Hanggang 1 year, ang tawag nila Treasury Bill. Okay? Pag more than 1 year, hanggang maximum ng 5, no? I hesitate, no? Kasi paiba-iba sometimes. Pwedeng 3, pwedeng 5. Uh, yun yung tinatawag class na treasury bonds. Ayan. Tapos, pagka at least 5 years na, yun yung treasury notes na tinatawag. 
Kaya ito class yung reason na pagka treasury bill tapos silent, cash equivalent yung treatment natin. Nasusundan, class, na experience na ba yun? Silent yung problem, treasury bill, cash equivalent? Yes or no? Diba? So, hindi ko na isusulat sa board kung ano yung mga pinagsasabi ko ng mga terms. Ha? Basta itong dalawang to, palaging long term ito. Okay? Palaging long term ito. Ito, may short term nito. No? Three months hanggang one year. Okay? And lastly, yung mga corporations na triple A or double A yung rating. No? So, this is a credit rating. No? Okay? Hindi sila nagde-default. Yun nga yung ibig sabihin class ng ano, highly liquid. Okay? Sila lang ang pwede mag-issue ng tinatawag na commercial paper. Ang commercial paper, 90 days ang shortest, ang pinakamahaba, 270. Kaya part ito class ng working capital management ninyo sa MS. Kasi short term na obligation to. Okay. Now, ito, itong dalawa na malapit na magmature at saka itong commercial paper, ito ay tinetrade sa tinatawag na money market. Ayan. Kaya pagka ginamit yung term na money market placement or money market instrument, Sounds familiar, everyone? Yes or no? <laughs> Sila rin yun. Okay, kaya cash equivalent yan. Okay, so ulitin ka. Itong dalawa, <coughs> treasury bill, at saka commercial paper, pag silent, cash equivalent. Okay, tapos ito rin, dahil silang dalawa rin to, O kaya naman itong dalawa na malapit na magmature, kaya ano to? Money market placement is also a cash equivalent. You follow guys? Okay. Now, I think last week meron na naman kayong ganitong sinagutan. Ang overdraft, no? ito yung mga special items natin. Ang overdraft class, pagka silent, Ang ibig sabihin nun, it is other bank. ba? Kaya, current liability. Okay? The only exception is if the overdraft is in the same, ano, same bank. Pagka ganito, anong gagawin natin? Okay, ineto or e offset. Correct by everyone. Okay. Ito na, yung pinaka-sensitive na item. Pakisulat naman plus uh, compensating balance agreement. Ha? Compensating uh, balance agreement. Can you write this down? Alagay nyo, two types. Ha? Two types. Okay. Letter A. Part of a loan. Uh, part of a loan. To secure the lender slash bank. Ha? To secure the lender slash bank. Interest and principal payments. Okay. Use to secure the lender's interest and principal payments. Ayan. Alagay nyo, can be legally restricted. Ha? Can be legally restricted. Okay? But, eto class yung kailangan yung tandaan, no? Pag silent ang problem, not legally restricted for this particular issue. Although common sense will dictate. Okay? Naiintindihan nyo ba class yung sinulat ninyo? Para saan itong value na to? Ha? Para dito kukunin yung mga payments mo 
na pinautang sa inyo ng bangko na pre-edit sa account natin. You follow everyone. Diba? Common sense dictates that this will be legally restricted. But that's not the case when you're problem solving. Pag silent, not legally restricted. Okay? Number two, no? two types nga. No? Number two, or letter B. Hindi ko na maalala kung anong uh, ginamit ko kanina. Okay, so ilagay nyo. Minimum deposit. Uh, minimum deposit agreement. And in return, easy credit availability. Uh, easy, madali na credit availability. And sulat nila lang class, never legally restricted. Ha? Never legally restricted. So hindi pwede yan. Pera mo yan. Yung kanina pera na pinautang sa'yo, pwedeng lagyan ng restriction. Ito, hindi pwede. Okay. Meron bang bank record dito sa handout na ito? Oo. Oh, sige. Sabihin ko kay Sir Raymond na hindi ko nagawa yung bank record. Okay, sige. Aklas, tingnan mo yung number one. Given yung checkbook balance, tapos given yung bank statement balance, no? Okay. Meron bang reconciling item? Ah, wala. So, pag walang reconciling item plus, ibig sabihin nun, tama yung book balance. Kasi, yung deposits and transit at sya kayo yung outstanding checks, hindi pa nare-record ng bank. Okay? So, therefore, wala tayong bank reconciling items, pero definitely, ah, sorry, wala tayong book reconciling items, pero definitely, merong bank reconciling items. So, you start class, no? check mo yung 5 million, and kayo nang bahala, class mag-journalize, nandito naman sa board, ito ang dalawang to, no? Ito, Okay? At sya ka ito. Nai-re-reverse mo. Okay? Kagaya niyang class. Ano yung 1 million dyan? It will fall under what category? Uh, check of 1 million drawn, but ano daw? Not mail. Not mail, no? So, magiging addition to sa cash balance natin. Tama ba ako? Okay? Pakilagyan naman ng plus sign. Uh, lagay nyo class. Pag silent yung sinking fund, long term yan. Ayan. Uh, may dalawang may possibility na maging cash equivalent. Treasury bill ba? 3 months? Sakto, no? E time deposit? 1 months na lang, no? 1 diba? months. Uh, pero hindi importante yung balance sheet date na time. Anong importante? Time of acquisition or yung original term. So, lagay nyo class, short term investment yung time deposit. Walang natawa sa one months. Yeah. Ako lang. Ibig sabihin, hindi kayo mapanglayat ng mga tao. I like you. Yeah. Uh, number one class, boy. Yeah. Ah, sige, eto. Jo-journalize ko itong 500,000 na to. Sige, paki-figure out muna yung number two. Sabihin ko na lang kay Sir Raymond na hindi na tayo maabot sa page 2. Ayoko class yung nag-e-extend. No? Pag lumalampas sa oras, parang feeling ko parang criminal. No? Diba? Kasi yung nag-enroll ka dyan, 6 to 9. No? So lahat ng plano mo, diba? 9 o'clock, may gagawin ka na. Tama ba class? No? Tapos pag may tao na nag-e-extend, naiinis ako. Ah, wala ko pinapangalanan, ha? No? Na. Pag, pag inumpisa mo kasi yung second page, lalampas tayo ng uh, 9 o'clock. Wala, hanggang dun lang. Gulat nga ako, sabi ko kayo, Sir Raymond. Saan ka umabot last week? Saan ako magsimula? Saan yun? Dun sa Statement of Comprehensive Income. Tapos sabi ko, wow, no, paano mo nagawa yun? So, nag-extend daw siya ng 9.30. Totoo ba yun? Or dinaloko lang niya ako? 
Okay. Buti na lang, no? hindi siya first day. Kasi kung first day, mas nag-extend ng 9.30. Baka lumipat ka na no? sa sa Reza. No? May evening pa sa Reza. Anong oras na simula nila? 6 din? 6 to 9 din? Sa Reza? Hindi nyo alam? Anyway. Alam ko weekend nila mas maaga eh, no? sa atin. Tayo kasi 8 to Ah, 6 sila yata, 7 ba? 7.30? Uh, parang ganun. Okay, uh, number 2 class. Cash and bank, 5 million. Pero nakita nyo, no? May compensating balance. And ako naman nakakapansin, mas madilim, no? Na, anong sinabi? It is legally, ano? Okay, restricted. So, balikan mo class, anong klaseng loan? Short term ba or long term? Okay, short term. Sige, pakisulat naman, das. Isa lang entradahan ko dito. Or yung dalawa na pala, yung kasunod. Ah, pakidebit naman, short term investment. Kasama pa rin sa current assets. Tapos credit cash. Ayan, 500,000. And then yung next item, nag-issue tayo ng post-dated check, no? Pakicheck naman. Ah, debit cash and then credit. Accounts payable. Ayan, 1 million. Yun lang. So, ang cash and bank mo magiging 5.5. Uh, yung PCF ba, na-reimburse daw lahat? Okay. So, plus 50. O, yan o, no? silent. Money market placements in the form of ano? commercial paper. Okay, and saving deposit na unrestricted, no? Boy, 7850. Okay, uh, last one class, number 3. Number 3. Pero, wait lang, ha? Bibigay ko pa rin yung answer sa 4 and 5. Pero sabihin ko kay Sir Raymond, i-solve. <laughs> 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 Wala naman, pag wala ka naman isa-solve dito. Kaya nga, ngayon pa lang, ano na, gumawa na kayo ng listahan ng mga topic na mahirap. Parang today, I mean, baka sabihin nyo, masyado mataas yung expectation nyo sa inyo, but uh, I think, no, um, kumuha ka lang ng kopya ng PRAC 1 ba? Yung libro pa rin ni Attorney Valix. Kaya lang, ano, PRAC 1, tapos Part 1, Part 2 ba? Volume 1, Volume 2. Ang nakakalito, ano, Prop 1 or uh, FAR. Basta, litong-lito na ako, class, sa bagong program ng accounting. No, lalo na sa K plus 12 na to. No? Ang kalokohan. Uh, so, <laughs> no, sabi na, ready na raw. No? Ready na raw na mag-accounting. No? Wala, wala ka alam-alam, no? yung mga uh, nag-accounting ngayon. Tapos, biruin nyo, class, basic accounting, 3 units. Tapos, part core, 3 units. Financial Accounting Part 1, 3 units. Financial Accounting Part 2, 3 units. Oh, ganun yung bagong program ngayon. Yung dati sa inyo, 6. Oh, yung tiki 3 units kasi just 4 years na lang. Kasi daw, nag-K plus 12 na. No? Parang ganun. <laughs> Ay, nako. Pabagsak, no, ang edukasyon natin. Buti na lang kayo, nag-graduate na kayo, no? Ay, ah, ah, marami tayong problema, no? So, huwag nyo lang isipin. Basta, Merry Christmas na lang. No? And uh, Happy Thanksgiving no? sa amin sa Amerika. Okay? Uh, number 3 class, yung 100,000 accounts receivable. No? So, 400,000 lang yung cash on hand natin. Uh, current account, wala namang restriction. Payroll account, current use naman. Plant addition, always long-term investment. Bonds payable, due na kailan? Okay. 2019 class ha, ang current year natin. So, cash na yan. Okay. 3-month time deposit, cash equivalent lang. Hindi pwede maging cash. Okay. Uh, traveler's check, manager's check. No? Ito, always good ito. No? This is issued by the bank. Okay. And money order also, no? A form of a check, no? just like a manager's check, pero yung mga money remittance services ang usually nagbibigay nito. Okay? 
So, paki-include naman lahat except yung time deposit kasi may separate na requirement for cash. And then, sa cash naman, ang hindi lang kasama ay yung plant addition. And of course, dapat 400,000 yung cash on hand. Okay? So, number one class, letter A. Tapos number two, ganun din. Letter A. Okay? Ah, number four class ay letter C. Sayang. So, kung sana i-discuss ito. Letter C. Uh, lagyan nyo na lang ng check mark yung currency and coins at saka yung 15,000 na check. Yung isa kasi NSF eh. Kaya receivable yun. And then number 5. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ano itong gagawin nyo? Book to bank, no? Kasi ang gamit lang per book sa requirement yung Number two, unadjusted balance per bank. Tama? Okay, sige. Number one, class letter A, 9 million. Number two, dog, 8.2. And then, kung 8.5 yung balance per book mo, and then yung sagot natin sa number one is 9. So, letter C, kailangan mong net debit na 500,000. Okay, sige. So, yan na lang. Kahit si Dinibay, tuturo rin sa ito sa proof of cash. Mabagal nga lang. Ayan. Okay. Mabay class.